Gladys, welcome to St. Spaces, and this time we are looking at Alien Storm, which is part of the Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. Uh, this game was released in the arcades in 1990, and it got a release on the uh, Sega Mega Drive real shortly after, I think it was 91. Uh, this came out after Golden X, and it was uh, released during a time when the uh, Alien movies uh, were really getting big because of the release of Aliens, the movie. Uh, does this hold up today though in 19, what am I saying, 19, 2017? Um, maybe not. Anyway, let's have a look. Alright, Alien Storm on the Sega Mega Drive. Yeah, I'm trying to get excited for this one. It's not a bad game, it's just it's not uh, overly memorable either. Alright, you have to select your player and you have to select it quick. You've got a choice of a man, woman or a robot. We're going to go robot. Because, I don't know, I think he's kind of cool. His name is Scooter, apparently. And they changed his name on the Master System version for some odd reason. Oh, <laughs> we're on straight away. Not doing too well already. Alright, so that's how you get your energy back up. Okie dokie. Because why not? Now this was actually quite a blast in the arcades. But... To be quite honest, I actually do prefer uh, Ali the Alien game that was released. Uh, it just seemed more arcade and, I don't know, more action-packed at the time. But I think a lot of these games are very forgettable. A few people might remember them, but there's really not much going on here that is overly unique. Hey! It's obviously a much faster paced uh, Golden Axe. It was designed to get people on and off the arcade machines real quick. Did he just take off his leg and shoot? I'm pretty sure that's what he did. Ah! And you see that AM1 sign up the top there? That's the name of the developers. <laughs> got face huggers this, this is totally uh, influenced by aliens <laughs> I like the innocents being chased up <laughs> I kind of feel slack um, killing those guys. They're only like the size of a kid. That's your that's your special attack. You blow yourself up. It's not really special at all. Now I'm using the really dodgy ah uh, Xbox 360 D-pad, if you can call it that. It's really shocking. I have to admit for these kind of games. I knew that would turn into something. Here we go. I like how they just disappeared. <laughs> it's like, you know, you're blasting and obliviate them and there's no mess to clean up. Uh oh, boss. Now he looks overly familiar in this um, altered beast, I think, was. The design of that face. I don't know, I've seen that face design before. Come and die, you miserable son of a. Oh, the B button blows you up. Okay. And these are kind of like the, the gnomes in Golden Axe. 
So you can see with their games in the, in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, they, they had a bit of a template thing going where the designs were very similar to each other. These stages were always kind of cool in the arcades. Uh, so yeah, the arcade was a free player game. And well, Sega Mega Drive wasn't really known for its four player capabilities. Uh, so you could play some four player games, um, but they kept this as a two player. Ugh. Alien scumbag. I gotta say, the Xbox 360 controller is just not good for these retro games. For Halo and all those sort of games that use the analog sticks, they're okay, but when you have to use the D-pad, it just falls short. Uh, I knew it! So far I'm doing alright, but you know, that's the that's the sure way to jinx myself. No, I hated those things. That is such a dumb attack. Oh no. I got a feeling I won't be finishing this game. They've made this one harder, I think, than Golden Axe. And Golden Axe was more memorable. I don't know why. This one's okay and it's cool for a quick blast, but just Golden Axe just had a bit of a storyline going to it. Had the cool. Um, don't shoot the good people. Uh, it, it had a good classic, you know, uh, Greek mythology story going on behind it. I should have put auto fire on. I'm going like crazy pressing this damn thing. They really do make this in a way that you, you're gonna get hit no matter what. I well, took out the mini boss or whatever that was. Oh wow, things are not looking too great in the Home Entertainment Department. <laughs> they must have had a fun time though designing these characters. I actually think that the character designs are pretty good considering what they had to work with, the pixelated work uh, art form that they had to go with. And using um, bins as snail tops. Ah. <laughs> oh. Get away from me. Face hugging is so unoriginal. Come on. Can you fall down there? Yeah, it doesn't affect you. Okay. I still think one of the most uh, enjoyable side scrolling games like this, beat em ups, are uh, Turtles. This reminds me of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but that, that was such a, a fun game compared to this. Again, not bagging this game out, it just for some reason falls short. Huh. You can't jump, so there's no uh, option to take out people from aer aer aerial attacks. There's a lot of rinse repeating going on here. <laughs> All right, blue stuff. Oh, you can kill the, you can hit the people and not get penalised. Okay. Which ones take the majority of your life out? I gotta concentrate on them. This would be so much fun in real life. 
So you don't get penalized for killing the civvies. Okay. <laughs> They don't give you much time to take them out. <sighs> Save the laboratory. Yeah, I thought those guys looked a little bit off. Hey! Cut that out. Yeah, I needed that. Uh, if anyone else uh, that's watching this has played this, let me know what was your favourite character. I don't know why, I just like the robot. Just, I don't know. The fact that he takes off his leg and shoots you, and shoots his enemies with the leg. That's pretty badass. Oh, just saw a... A new attack. Yay, gonna try that one more often. It's hard to pull it off though. And oh, no, I'm dying here, come on. Ah. Uh. It is a much faster paced Golden Axe game. <laughs> Help! Help! Another shooting stage. Oh, brains. Oh. No messing around here. Take it, take it. Yes. I think you gotta go after the sources. The ones that, that, that are just unleashing all that rubbish on you. I'm just focusing on that, don't get distracted. So I lost one life and I lost a little bit there. Nightcrawler. Oh, that poor dude. <laughs> <laughs> How ugly was that dude? Oh. Golden Axe was more satisfying too. When you got a hit in it really felt like you were actually walloping them for some reason compared to this. I think it's because it's too far too fast and too far fetched to get any sort of satisfaction at your kick and butt. And there's not really many moves you can do on this. It's just button bashing. I hate these dudes. Because they get cheap shots in. Yeah, I like that. Let's just do this. Oh, nicely done. Hang on a minute. He just cheated there. Oh, what? We've got another dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> he should be a ref in football. Look at him. <laughs> 
It's all lies. Got my eye on you. It's like a brain cocoon. I don't know what that is. And he's shooting lasers out of his anuses. Yeah. I think arcade style games though just don't work now. You gotta have a backstory, you gotta have all this lore behind it. It's gotta be open world for it to, to really do well. Alright, well, uh, what? They didn't hit the auto fire option. I do love those jumping, leaping moments. You can't jump. Oh, you can jump. Okay, I, I just contradicted myself real quick. Yeah, ouch. Was that a hand? All right, time to catch up to him and bury it and destroy the UFO. They're very bland backgrounds. They don't even parallax scroll or anything. It's just such a shame that they didn't do more with this game. It could have been a bigger, a much bigger game. I think, <coughs> excuse me. I think what let it down was that they tried to just duplicate the arcade experience too much. And that was again a big problem that Sega had. They knew how to do arcade games but they just struggled with home. Yeah, I'm just about done here. This is one of the quickest uh, Let's Plays I've done for a while. <laughs> Got out of a tight spot there, though. Are you, are you kidding me? I get done over by the smallest guy on the map. Uh, hey, I got ranked Barbarian. And if you have a look back in the background there, you can see the Genesis does reference. Genesis does what Nintendo don't. Well, anyway, that's been my look at Alien Storm on the Mega Drive. Uh, and uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> it could have done with a sequel. It would have been nice if they had it beefed it up a bit. Anyway, my name's been Brian. I've been gaming since Spacey's. Thanks, guys. <laughs>